We're not under any obligation to make a statement. We're not under any obligation to make art, Cutler. I was reading this profile of championship winning crew chief Chad Canals the other day when something hit me. He's a weirdo! Chad Knauss is weird! He's weird! Yes, I said it. After winning the championship, he's weird. What was he doing? Is he out there celebrating? No, he's pulling out his phone. He was texting Rick Hendrick and started texting Rick Hendrick about 2010. Started to get nervous that Daytona 500 is only 80 days away. 83 days away. Chad Knauss is weird. Works 20 hours a day. Gets up at 5.30, rolls into the shop. Stays till 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Got no other interests. Says he kind of likes scuba diving. That's weird. He has a girlfriend, but you know what? But I think he feels kind of like he's cheating on his race car. Deep down inside, he feels kind of guilty because he's cheating on his race car when he's hanging out with his girlfriend. Chad Knauss is weird. He's weird. The guy's a weirdo. Now, mind you, how else do you win four championships in eight years? I'm not criticizing him for being weird. Huh? I think it's a good thing that he's weird. I think his weirdness is really a wonderful thing. He's weird. How else do you get four championships in a row? by being weird. But the fact of the matter is, the man is a weirdo. And I think it's just time we race fans acknowledged it. He's a weirdo. Rowdy.com, built by race fans, for race fans.